Have you ever wondered how your RV is made? In this video, we are gonna give you a tour of the assembly plant where they make Apex Nano, but let's get to see how they assemble this. On the day we were in the 224 assembly plant, they were building Nano 208 bunkhouse units. The floor is first prepped with some initial wiring, while the frame is also being prepped with its axles and tires. Notice that the jacks have already been installed and that the entire unit is belly side up. You can see the consistency of the belly board yeah. and now it actually just fits up. When you turn the chassis over, it doesn't, doesn't hang. After the belly board is installed, the whole thing is flipped over and the floor is pulled into place with a crane. Once the floor has been attached and some of the initial wiring has been pulled through, it's time to start adding the millwork. You can see here a kitchen counter base, part of the bed, and some pantries and a portion of the bathroom. All the millwork is created on site for the specific units being built on any given day. Notice here that the wheels are sitting on a trolley that allows the entire unit to be pulled down a track as it works its way through each station in the assembly plant. Bed framing is added, along with the only carpet in the entire unit on the bed frame. The pass-through is done, and you can see the kitchen sink has been installed. This area is for the refrigerator, the water heater, and the outdoor kitchen. Plus, notice the bathroom plumbing is starting to take shape. From this side, we can actually see inside the bathroom with the tub and toilet. Notice here that every available space is being filled with wires and plumbing. As we look across to the next unit in line, you can see a sidewall being installed. The nose of the rig is taking shape and you can see the bed area along with the overbed storage and the wardrobes. All of the decals are applied by hand before each sidewall is installed. As the driver's side wall is being moved into place, notice the cutout around the center window. This will become the slide out eventually. The assembly line is in a U shape, with all of the components and millwork being built in the center. As we reach the first leg, now the units will be rolled backwards down the line to continue their construction. Laminated roofs are made in the same factory on site as the walls. Check out that tour linked above. They are thinner than the ultralight roofs because they have no ductwork in them, but they still have an R factor of 14. They're prepped for the air conditioner unit and the lighting, flipped upside down, and then placed on top with another crane. As the roof is being installed, notice that the slide out has been removed and that assembly has started. Appliances are starting to be added to the rig and we're about to turn the corner to install windows and end caps. Did you know that all Apex, Remote, and Northern Spirit products use Dicor's Crossflex roofing? It's three times more puncture resistant, 25% more tear resistant, and comes with a 12-year warranty. It's being installed next, along with vents, the air conditioner, skylights, and the Stargazer window. What's above my head? I love this. This is the Stargazer, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, there's my bug net. And this, though it doesn't look like a blackout line, it is 100% blackout. And I can just imagine laying here in this bed, looking up at the stars. This is a beautiful rig. The slide out manufacturing line runs parallel to the main assembly line. Once the wall is cut out, the rest of the slide out is manufactured and the dinette booth is installed or other components that belong in it. And then the wall is put right back into the same unit that it came from. As the unit reaches the final stages of assembly, it's plugged in and electrical components are starting to be tested and the final trim work is being added. 
Did you know that every frame has a VIN number etched on it from the very start of the assembly line? This way, each rig is identified to the customer it's going to, whether it's a dealer or an individual. This particular unit is going to the Dallas-Fort Worth RV party in Texas. As the awning is being installed, notice the little pieces of green tape across the rig. These are all marking some kind of defect that's been found. It could be as minor as a bubble in the decal or something more serious, but anything identified is going to be fixed before the rig leaves the line. If a unit fails its final audit, it's moved over to sick bay where more serious issues can be fixed. Do you see the red no ship sticker? It indicates that the front window had a crack in it and that the kitchen counter had a defect. Both will be repaired before this rig goes out on its first adventure. From start to finish, each unit spends about two days on the assembly line, and about 13 rigs are completed every day. We've shown you today how they're made. I hope you enjoyed this factory tour showing you how apexes are made. It's quite fascinating to watch our little home come together. Thanks for taking this adventure with us. Leave a comment below if you want to know more. In this video, we are going to show you how they make a Coachman Ape, uh, what am I saying? Today we're going to give you a tour of the assembly plant at Coachman where they make Coachman Apex, Coachman Nano. Ooh. Stop, it's Apex Nano. I know. In this video, we are going to do a, what is it? A tour? What tour? <laughs> what kind of tour? Hurry up. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how your RV is made? Well, in this, I don't like the car. Yeah. Have you ever wondered how your RV is made? Well, in this video, we are gonna give you a tour of an assembly plant at Coachman, where they make apexes, nanos, remotes, and even Freedom Spirit, Freedom Express, Northern Spirit. In this video, we are gonna give you a tour of the assembly plant, where they make apex ultralight, apex nano, apex, apex ultralight, apex nano, the Coachman Remote, and the Coachman Northern Spirit. If you stick around, in another video, we'll link it up here, we show you how the walls are made. But let's get to see how they assemble this.